and co-host. All right, I'm gonna do the count in <laughs> five, four. I'm gonna leave the whole count in though, including me gotcha. doing this right now. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> you can't say that part out loud. So, <laughs> welcome to Fun Facts and Sad Troops, the only podcast recorded uh, using public funds ever. There is no other podcast released using public funds, and don't Google that. <laughs> Today's fun fact, if you close your eyes and allow yourself to f- fall forward into the progression of time, you can feel the edge like sand pushing over a precipice you can never quite move past. Sad truth, to feel the forward march of time wash over me brings no peace to a soul trapped in the perpetual hell of our spiritless, neoliberal lives. <laughs> so now we have to discuss that? Well, no, no, not at all. But right now... <laughs> no, no, it has nothing to do with the rest of it. Right now we're playing the theme song. Or the theme song. I was just thinking about that. Did you have a brain blast? <laughs> it's how my grandfather died. But, um... <laughs> and yours. <I'm> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I, was, I just had a sudden bout of extreme crying. That's what it sounds like when I cry there's very a, quickly. There's a disturbing amount of Jimmy Neutron memes that are about Carl and his butt. Because, I don't know if you guys remember. I remember it. But they impregnated his butt on episode. <laughs> Yeah. Sad truth. Wait. Fun fact. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> that that's not a bet. That's serious. That's a serious. That's a serious, serious thing. thing. Yeah, it happened. actually happened. Oh, okay. Because yeah. it was. I actually never watched that special because I was not able to get home to watch it. And yeah. I never. It was never on a rerun. But it was oh. the attack. They probably did walkies. it one time, and then everyone called in and was like, like "Hey, get out! He's too thick. here. Get him out of here." Yeah. But yeah, his 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 uh, but. Enlarges. <laughs> it's like <laughs> in the glows too. Yeah. It's really weird. Yeah. I mean, that's um, like not anything compared to like Cartoon Network. What is it? Courage the Dog. Like, yeah. kind of crazy. And like Nickelodeon, just like a decade prior to that, with like Ren and Stimpy and Angry Beavers and stuff, which famously, uh, during that time, they were also the only network that regularly aired actual Nazi propaganda as a part of their. Their evening block. That's a fucking hey, lie. Are you that. serious? Okay. That's the thing. Yeah. No, I grew up on it too. It was it, it was before they had Nick and Knight. Yeah. They would just play old. Who's the Nazi guy who did the documentaries? Was it mm-hmm. Goebbels? I don't know if he directed, but Goebbels propaganda films just on a reel. Mm. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I definitely saw that. Actually, I did remember something the other day. I don't know if you guys saw this. But they used to play this ad, or well, it was more like a health info kind of like segment where they had a, uh, huh? Like a PSA. A PSA, yeah, exactly. So it was about sugar and how sugar can be disguised. And they sincerely dressed up a like a bag of sugar in like mustaches and whatever. And they're like, it Ugh. hides in your food as sucrose and yeah. dextrose or whatever. Yeah. I mean, how else is it going to get passed without a mustache and some glasses, maybe a big nose? Right. Whatever I, I mean, mean wearing a lampshade. Yeah, a yeah. lampshade. Perfect. You get uh, find some curtains, fashion yourself a dress. When people ask, like, what's the difference between regular sugar and high fructose corn syrup, the answer is facial hair. Yeah. Facial yeah. hair. Exactly. Right. So. Um, ro- no. no. I was going to say Rogaine. Is that the one? Yeah. Rogaine. I guess it's called. It has gain in the name. It means it grows hair. Yeah, I like they like really should have been called grow gain because <laughs> it grows. Stuff. Gross. <laughs> you want to you want to laugh at that? You want to laugh at that? You want to laugh at my little joke? <laughs> you want to laugh at my little joke? Gee. I I wasn't laughing because I was in awe <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> of such a great idea. We should go back in time. Intel and there. start well no just start our own company we have no idea how the inner workings of the company work but we have the name and that's all we need that's pretty much I would go on Shark Tank so if you had the ability to go back in time that's what you would do yeah, yeah. the only thing you yeah, would do the only thing that and uh, probably stop uh, what's um, that guy's name with the mustache and the... Michael Jordan yeah. yeah yeah stop him yeah we don't need him <laughs> 
I was, I was just going to say stop the Olympics one year just because I could. <laughs> <laughs> just, to, just to see if I had the power to stop the Olympics from happening. <laughs> just, Why, though? Like, I, like, just, I like that you would need to go back in time. <laughs> there's not be another <laughs> Olympics. Because Good point. I don't want to wait. <laughs> yeah, you know. I don't want to wait to go back in time. <laughs> I don't have all the time in the world. I want to do it now. Song where it's like fucking turn back time. Uh, Pitbull. If I could blah, 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 I'd go to the Olympics. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. That's what that whole song is about. Stop they actually uh, consulted me for lyrics on that. Wow. Yeah. 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 That, by the way, I put it on as a comment in the last podcast. Mm. You weren't there. But right. I couldn't remember the name for someone on a film who knew things, but they would like go to ask questions. And it was a consultant was the word I was looking for, a film mm. consultant. Oh, and yeah. For, like consulting producers, typically. Yeah. For reference for the people at home listening, I have a bachelor's degree in English. <laughs> so that's not a joke. Welcome wow. to this week's... Fun facts and <laughs> <laughs> Fun facts open. and sad That was the entire cold open. Oh my god. Yeah. Are we just going to play music over that? <laughs> <laughs> but um, oh we have a very special guest today. Hello everyone. My name is Sam. I'm so excited to be here. Yeah. We're not... We we're we, we're not even yeah. we're not we're they're not really here. Excited. It's just me and I'm doing their voices. Yeah, <laughs> no, we would never have a a, a guest that was just one of us doing fake voices. <laughs> no. no. Oh, Anyways, <laughs> Reggie from Nintendo or Al Gore <laughs> sincerely came on. The we should have Al Gore and Reggie from Nintendo have a debate at one point. We should have them <laughs> just host the podcast <laughs> one time. Oh God, no, um, I could keep. I mean. <laughs> Um, Reggie couldn't. Reggie couldn't possibly. keep up that voice. He has to change his voice. Do you know? I'm gonna cut this a little bit. Do you know <laughs> how long actual. I spent last week just cutting every time I laughed his Al Gore out so that it would seem like it was emotion because I just had to do it every three seconds. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, you did. Um, so, um, so and then this, as, yeah. as well as our guests, we got our regular hosts, me, Jake, Hole, and I'm um, Pepsi Hot Dog. Hot Which dog. is not three names, like Hot is not the middle name, because if it was, I would tell people, Hot is my middle name, as a little joke, just to, just to get the ball rolling with a conversation, like a little, like a little icebreaker. But yeah, this, you have trouble starting conversations with mo- strangers? Most- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, doesn't, it doesn't seem like <laughs> I'll just kind of like be chasing them down, and they'll, they won't talk to me. But like, um, yeah, no, Pepsi, Hot Dog, two words. Mm. Pepsi and hot dog. I don't think anybody's going to try to spell it who's listening to this, so I don't think you really need to... Like, in case like, they need to, <laughs> like, to look it up. Listener. They don't want to be rude and put it as three names as yeah. opposed to mm-hmm. two. Yeah, right. Um, what I'm saying is our fans probably hate us. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> That's why they don't listen. I yeah. mean... <laughs> yeah. So, uh, we're... This is a very special episode... Because we are recording in a public library, mm. after lack of a another location to record in for the day, so next week we will be recording in a secret library. Yes, a private library, like National Treasure kind of secret mm-hmm. library. Only like, know about it. Exactly. Only they don't even Nicolas know. Cage. They know about it. Nicholas Cage knows. He Why played himself he? in that movie, right? Or in those movies. He always no, plays several. himself. He was, he was, he He's always there. himself. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't think he could be any other way. No. Mm-mm. I feel like, wasn't he just in the news? Um, I thought I saw, I didn't like re- click the headline to see. Because you're like Nicolas Cage. No, yeah. thank you. <laughs> it's like, I, I've had enough of that for today. Um, he, well, I'll look it up. He, he had like... Um, uh, he, 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 was, he was carrying around a little, like, you know, thing that was usually you hold birds in, but he was stealing... A, like a cage? Yeah, and he was stealing mm-hmm. um, he was stealing coins from people and throwing them inside of said cage, and everybody was just like, ah, or no, the, 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 the title of the article was Nicholas Cage Cages Nichols. And um, 
they were they just explained how it was like a really long setup to a joke that didn't really work out, and um, he ended up uh, being passed out in the street. Like yeah. somebody threw him, they passed him. Into the street. Did they did they take the cage with the nickels or where where did that go? Um, those uh, mysteriously enough, somebody opened the door yeah. of the cage and they yeah. just flew off. It was, they flew it was off. insane. Did they transform into um, birds or did they just literal nickels? Just I don't know if they stack. transformed into birds, but I think Nicholas Cage owned a cage in which that when you put things inside of it, they gained the ability to fly. Wow. So yeah. where are they now? Did they migrate south? Um, I mean, it's warmer north, now, yeah. so um, north. I think they're heading to Nicaragua because they heard somebody call it Nicaragua, and they thought it was like a place for them to live. I mean, that makes total <laughs> sense. <laughs> I like that. Oh. <laughs> That's actually one of our one of our viewers. She's from Nicaragua. Nicaragua. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Nicolau- Jimmy. Okay. <laughs> Somewhere between uh, Lebanon and... Isn't Nicaragua the uh, location that all of those Nazis went to go record stuff for Nickelodeon? They didn't have it. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, they're going to find themselves coming into a bunch of quarters. <laughs> well, that's not what I meant. <laughs> Nickels. I meant they're going to ejaculate on the nickels. Yes. That's what I meant. That's, that, I didn't mean quarters. I'm yeah, sorry. That makes <laughs> significantly more sense. So, today, tomorrow, and the next week, that's it. And, it's over. and that's then all. it's over. <laughs> that's all. I mean, it's the all end. Just the world ends next week. So, one thing I wanted to discuss is generally, of the bits we have on the show, my favorite is probably referring to the fact that we don't have any listeners and it made me realize like if we ever do pick up i won't be able to do that anymore no we can yeah but like everybody would just yell at us yeah (laughs) (laughs) i mean hey if they keep coming once we have more listeners but it is sort of nice to just like release things into the The void (laughs) and that's you know i've got like i think like 50 followers on twitter and just it's freeing to be able to not have anyone listening to you. Which but is, you're still saying something. Yeah. yeah. It makes me feel like the online equivalent of like one of those guys on like a street in Chicago who's got like a sign on. Yeah, just but like, just yelling. Yeah. Well, we and are everyone less... doesn't acknowledge it. Yeah. yeah. It's like yeah. Just I have a crazy like, story for you guys. But, well, like so it. real quick, the thing is we're not as intrusive. Like, yes, oh, we're I yelling agree. out our opinions. and Well, okay, so you just... I have a Bluetooth speaker, and I just go on the Blue Line train and blast this okay. podcast oh, right. to every oh. car. Like, the people who go around ask for money. Not all like, of us can afford train rides, oh, Pepsi. Right. All right. Sorry. <laughs> I can't afford them. That's <laughs> why so I'm going around with the podcast. <laughs> people go around, like, asking for money, like, saying, like, hey, you know, I've got medical costs. I just go around, like, you listen to my podcast. <laughs> can you donate to me? We don't have a Patreon. I just... I just busk on trains. Um, (laughs) Usually I do it early in the morning. There's like only two people on there, but they don't like the show. So that's our review from there. You had a story. Okay, I had this story. So so I was on the north side, and I was with some friends, and we had just left a comedy club. It was like a... Small kind of thing. The only type of club there is. Yeah. Right? Sad. A lot of yeah, dark paint. You're talking about a sandwich. <laughs> and we left, and we were like at the corner waiting for this bus. And the, um, this guy, he's like out of his mind, and he starts screaming. But as he's screaming, he's taking off of his, his clothes, so he's butt naked on the side of the street, and then he sits on the fire hydrant. That has that little thing at the mm-hmm. top, and he oh. just sits on it, and he starts screaming. And we're all yeah. like, fuck, 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 we gotta get out of here. But, like, I think this podcast is pretty much in the same vein as that. I, was you know, somewhere I think if you had to personify our yeah. podcast, it would be that man. Screaming naked yeah. man with the top of the fire hydrant in his butt. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's how I spend most of my time here. I don't know what you guys are sitting at. I mean, yeah, (laughs) tree, whatever. It's your butthole. Do what you want, right? Yeah, Yeah, they were were, were weird looking at me when I came in the library with a fire hydrant. (laughs) 
<laughs> there was a like doctors having to pull really weird stuff out of people's butts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I saw a photo. Where well, I think like, anything you pull out of a butt that's not poop is pretty weird. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I get you. I get you. Um, the face I'm making for those of us who can't see me is the face of a guy trying so to come up with something to say. Yeah. No, but like, okay, it's probably like fake photo of like a whatever X-ray, but it was a Buzz Lightyear doll in someone's ass to infinity and, and beyond, beyond. Right, up your butthole. That's beyond. <laughs> so that's what they're referring to when they say the great beyond in. I mean, things that movies that have the phrase the great beyond in it. Aren't, isn't that we're going to see a picture of a black hole soon and it's going to be revealed that it's the inside of someone's butt? Probably. Probably. Wouldn't that be because there's the idea of like, you know, the universe and all of it contains, like, if we could find the edge of it and see where we go, if all of this is like just the, the wet, like, part of an intestinal part of like a god, what we would call god, and we're just his. His ass. His shit, actually. Yeah. Because he'd be the stuff in his ass. We're, yeah. We're, or the, you know, because the shit. bacteria inside. Because we are the planets would probably be. Leaving. Yikes. Yeah. Um, and that would mean that my, that brings us to, uh, bring <laughs> up the music, segment to conspiracy theory. Conspiracy theory. I believe that climate change is not man-made but instead earth being digested by the <laughs> god we are residing in the intestines of prove me wrong atheists <laughs> jake hole do you have a rebuttal yes jake hole looking over at you the only rebuttal i'm worried about is the butt that we're going to be shooting out of after this monster is done absorbing the earth. I would like I to would, be, yeah, go ahead. I would like to think, this is kind of different though, what if there's like, you know, flat earth theory, flat universe theory. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what we fall off the edge of the universe. I would go a step further. Uh. I actually believe that we are part of what I would refer to as the flat Stanley Cinematic universe. <laughs> I wholeheartedly agree with that. To be honest, those books scarred me for life. I had a poster above my bed that I took down immediately because I I did not want to be squished. Yep. Although it is convenient being able to fold yourself and being mailed to your grandparents. Yes. I think that was a theme. We all tried at one point. Yeah. I mean, it's just like child trafficking through mail, but whatever. Yeah. Cool. Well, I mean, if you go. If you if you get taken in a plane, the traffic has nothing to do with it. What about air traffic control? <laughs> what about air traffic control? <laughs> Why is it called air traffic? Um, there are cars in the sky too. No. Yeah. I mean, I guess if a plane is carrying them. I mean, a plane has wheels uh, and windows and what, gas. Yeah, but a plane planes are really it just sucks its wheels in when it flies, it's so like a, that the a, wheels don't get hurt. No, does it dog? I can't. I'm not going to be able to say this without laughing. Does it? <laughs> you can do it. Does a dog Come stop up, having a penis when it back in? No. Or yeah. a horse. Or a horse. Or a horse. Yeah. one time well, I saw I'll an elephant you know. and it just I could not look at. <laughs> No, yeah, it's fucked up. Um, it's like so, so majestic, well, so but it, not. No. No. I have an answer. A dog does lose his penis when he leaves my house with my dad and comes back four hours later. You know, they, they give him the chemicals. How do you think dogs pee? They just cut their dick up and then it's just whatever. <laughs> no joke. Just sprays around. Well, that's why they have to squat down. No you joke. I wasn't referring to neutering. <laughs> Oh. No joke, I thought that's what castration was. I thought they cut off your penis. Just yeah. like, and then you just... <laughs> so, that, there's that little Game of Thrones thing. Oh. <laughs> I was like, why did they do that to him? That's yeah. so... Yeah. yeah. I've never watched Game of Thrones. I had to stop. It More was... of a Wheel of Fortune guy. Exactly. Yeah. Why, why waste your time yeah. on fantasy fiction? Are you going to have real time? Yeah, it's the real game. Well, Fantasy. Wheel of Fortune is actually going to be one of the names of the books of the Game of Thrones series. The, Wheel of Fortune? The, yeah, it's going to be the yeah, oh my God. Game of game Thrones of and Thrones. the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. So right, J. Cole. Yeah, because <laughs> what are the other book names? Like 
the white winter or something like that. I don't Philosopher's know. The white stone. of winter. <laughs> Philosopher's yeah. stone. Yeah. The sim- Cimmerillion. Uh, electric boogaloo. <laughs> <laughs> Do androids dream electric sheep? <laughs> um, the book of Job. And this there is, was one more, I think. There's a, this is really random, but yeah. like, if yeah. you are blind your whole life, like, what do you dream? Dream of black. Uh, but I mean, could you, like, brain? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like, wake up, it's like, what did you dream about? Bumps. <laughs> Bumps. <laughs> oh. oh my god. I want to know, do they have, like... To all our blind listeners out there, we we apologize. Well, I, I but also say, send us some hate. We'd like to know yeah, send, how you if feel. You're, in your hate mail, describe what your dreams look like. <laughs> I would. And that's really to any of our listeners. Send us hate mail describing your dreams. That's the only hate mail I want. Um, and, uh, to all of our deaf listeners, how? So I guess it, it's <laughs> it's your I, I, deserve, <laughs> I deserve some sort of <laughs> acknowledgement. <sighs> so, okay, so to talk about, I, I have handwritten notes and digital notes. Oh my god! So we want to talk about politics. Like a going handwriting politics? digital machine. Nah, politics. I'd, I'd more like, like some absurd stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean that is politics. Yeah, it's it's much yikes. more absurd than. The guys in Washington with their suits who fucking wear suits. Who I'm wears suits suit. anymore? Oh, yeah. We oh, yeah. <laughs> Podcasters are really the only people. That's embarrassing for that. Pepsi. J. Cole is wearing a uh, three piece suit with a bow tie. It's actually a five piece suit. Oh, my <laughs> bad. <laughs> the pants are split into two pieces. <laughs> so Aren't they always split into two pieces? <laughs> but, like, they. Like they're they separate have... things. Like I have wait, to wait, like, so you zip have, like... up one leg and then my just Johnson. I mean, you see no, it. It's I... just hanging out. But I think <laughs> yes. <laughs> but actually, I like what you wore last time. I didn't actually see it because I wasn't here. But the slits on the side. I mean, you can like hear Angelina it. Jolie, yeah. like leg popping out. Oh yeah. They had to kick us out. I was it was too it. good. <clears throat> I was gonna say, is a skirt just a one-legged pant? Here's my question for today. Wow. No honestly, well, like, I guess if the skirt is a zipper, I don't know. Like honestly, like, I don't have like the male parts, but like, have you guys ever worn a skirt? Oh, like, yeah. is it comfy? Yes, it's so I, be- I believe that. Like, why else would like people for thousands of years wear that? That's the thing. And then all of a sudden, it's like, mm, can't do it. Majority of history, we did not wear pants, and like one guy, one person. It was just one guy. One guy's like, hey, what if what if we were uncomfortable instead? Yeah. And everyone was like, get the fuck out of here, John. Yeah. No one asked you. <laughs> John and then Pants got Jr. You can go hide your weird penis somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> and that's exactly what he did. <laughs> we castrated now himself? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I mean, so the thing is, what they would do is they would, they would kill people with weird penises. So somebody had to figure out, well, if I'm wearing pants, they can't just... Lift up my skirt and see whether or not I have a weird penis. Wait, like weird penis is like swords? Like you're, that's the weird penis they're killing people with? Or oh, no, you well, lost me. Like, yeah. if we want to talk about phallic shaped things, let's talk, um, about... let's talk about the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. Washington Monument. Oh, yeah. These are giant penises, people. Yeah. Wake yeah. up. Conspiracy, <laughs> Conspiracy theory. theory. <laughs> Music cue. <laughs> yeah. Let's go back to the. the, the All the best one. shows do the yeah. same segment multiple times in one show. Airplanes. <laughs> There's sky car penises. Car penises. Car penises. Mm. Yep. Mm. Uh-huh. I like I to think, think of them as like buses. 
Because there's tons of people and you're transporting them. Buses also okay, but penis. also snakes on a plane. Mm-hmm. There you go. There we go. Penises on a penis. That's Freud. <laughs> it's just penises on penises. I want to become a. Or is, what? Would the snake be sperm? Ooh, there's an idea. So the people are the sperm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, the, the people flying are the penis. Sperm, I guess. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to explain this. And then they're impregnating. <laughs> You're like, you, you go over to the um, flight attendant and be like, I just, I need to say something. When you're done with the safety stuff, I have to do one. You're like, yeah. Like, great performance, but I gotta give him an encore, Very okay? Good. By the way. We are sperm. In a giant flying <laughs> penis. That's what's happening. Where you're in a penis, you land in a new place, and then you release all the people to impregnate and, the land. But no, but no, with, no, 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 but wait. With money. Some people who leave the plane go to make planes. Oh. And that's how the planes reproduce. Boom. Conspiracy theory. Conspiracy theory. Also, the moon looks like a giant testicle that has a health condition thing going on. Oh, all the craters and stuff? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. But there's only, oh, but there's one of them. That's a part of the Yours condition, doesn't. right? Mm-hmm. Yours mm-hmm. doesn't have a crater. Why, Jay Cole, just, do you want to see? No, I see a doctor. <laughs> I think you can see them. <laughs> just tell me. <laughs> what I wear to the doctors. <laughs> but yeah, no, no I have a, 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 a what is it called? A, a space yeah. shuttle on it, though. Oh, okay. You have a yeah. space shuttle on the moon. What What is your space shuttle? It's a grope. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it was, it was oh on your balls. No, yeah. <laughs> I we were transitioning into yeah. something else. Anyways. Do we have any more cues? Um, hmm. I think Donald that Trump we're... is not the president. No, Jim, no, Jim Carter. What? Remember? Oh, right. Yeah. That's right. Uh, we already did that one. Damn it. Uh, oh, I got one. Yeah. Okay. So I have no sources in front of me, but from what I remember, um, so people stopped drinking milk. For, it was like going downhill in like the 1900s, 20th century. So in the 60s, they started their... Oh wait, just kidding. 60s or 80s. They started that Got Milk campaign. I think it was the 80s. And they... Yeah. So, but they did that to get people to start drinking it more. And then dairy farmers and corporations added milk to your necessary like triangle of health thing that we all learned as a kid. Mm-hmm. Saying it's vital to your health. But lies because dairy is so bad. Yeah. Um, and I they put it in stuff that it doesn't need to be in too. Yes, that's exactly. Important. So to create a need for this industry that's like gigantic. Yeah, I have personally. I mean, isn't that what corn syrup is too? I think oh, yeah, it just is. the other end of that. Yeah, they just use like the fake sweeteners yeah, yeah. too. Yeah. I I've combated this by exclusively drinking uh, homegrown milk from my cat. So. <laughs> Yeah, it takes it takes. A it takes a lot of work, yeah. but once you get those little things going, the milk just flows. And you're not a monster, so your cat your cat is not declawed. No, so exactly. it just destroys you as it's, you try to milk it. And yeah. the thing is, it's a male. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure that's it's milk? A, it's, a, it's, <laughs> it's probably cat sweat or pus of some kind. Yes. I don't really, I don't really get enough to drink it. it. A I just, it's a process. Can I tell you guys another story? Mm-hmm. Sure. Okay, so um, really I about cat milk. okay, just wait. <laughs> so I had a cat, and um, his name was Bub, and he was so cute. I had him for so many years, and we were like really tight. Um, so I was like chilling. I don't know how old I was, but I was like fourteen, whatever. Um, I walk into my living room, and he's sitting there on the sofa. You know how some cats sit where they like roll onto their back and their like legs and arms are in front of them, like super cute, but also yeah. like, what is going on? Yeah. Well, he's doing that. And then I see something in his fur and I was like, is there something in your fur? Like what's going on? And so I go over, <laughs> I go over to him and I'm like, there's something, okay, there's poking out of him, what's going on? So I go in and I pinch it to take it out <laughs> and he shrieks. He screams, and he runs away, and then it dawns on me that I pinched his penis. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, and I thought I've it was something in his cat fur. Penis. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen a cat penis. They got weird penises. They, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. To say the least. Yeah. I felt so bad. That's, that's an But it's also so funny. Yeah. I'm he, glad that my cat is a female. Yeah, my cat 
like he'll be like cleaning himself and his, his his dick will come out and like if you walk in when he's doing it he just looks at you and does not break eye contact and it's the most uncomfortable well, part. it's I a think, dominance it's like yeah. t-posing on I people. think what the most uncomfortable part about cats looking at you after they lick themselves like especially if they're licking their crotch yeah they don't bring their head all the way back up they just like look up they look at you from their crotch so you have to look both into their eyes and (laughs) at their crotch crotch. at the same time well that's the same thing and it is an incredible power move that I wish I could pull off like dogs do that Dogs, I don't, I've never had a dog, but like a walk dog, when they're shitting, they'll stare at you. Oh, yeah, no, it's all, and it's like, it's like, mm. yeah, but they're like, oh, it's because they're vulnerable, they yeah. want to look to their owners. But I'm like, it's I don't want to see this dog shit all over. No, it's the worst part because they look terrified, yes, that's yeah. the two they're so goals. scared. Yeah. And, and, and you, if you look away, you're a jerk. Yeah. If you look away. Well, then chihuahuas like, already like, shake. Imagine yeah. a chihuahua shitting. They're just... Uh, I'm constantly imagining a chihuahua <laughs> shitting. <laughs> That's all I think about. Yeah. <laughs> what else are you doing? Yeah. Conspiracy theory. Chihuahuas are K-T. dogs, but furry rats. Yeah. Chihuahuas are like... I saw a street rat the other night, and I was happy about it. Did they have a pizza? No. Was it... It was, it was just it's a one. rat that was made out of the street. Yeah, it was like an asphalt rat. Okay. And it was terrifying. It was like the size of a car. <laughs> there was, um, I used to, at a dorm I used to be in, there was a busted lamppost, and in the bottom lived this giant rat. And uh, we called it King Rat, because obviously it's a king. It's a giant rat. Um, one time I was leaving my friend, and we saw the, I saw the rat jump into the trash, and then its like tail was sticking out, and it was like at least like eight inches long. It was I, crazy. I mean, um, eight, inch, eight inches is pretty impressive. Do you know what a rat king is? This is a real thing. You know, Disney. You, you know this. Do they have like colonies? Oh, I have another story. Are you talking about capybaras? No, no. There's oh. so capybaras. Like, capybaras like, hierarchy in are rats. legit. Have you seen photos where they're chilling with like alligators, yeah, lions, horrible. birds, what? turtles? That's the, they're the opposite of horrifying. They're like big guinea Why pigs. Why are they? Yeah. Because they... Are you threatened by guinea pigs? You just said Stickle? they hang out with alligators. No, know. it's because they're so <laughs> chill that everyone in the animal kingdom's like, yes, let's hang out. No this big guy. deal. He's a cool guy. Yeah. Although they do have kind of weird eyes. I mean, whatever. Most animals have weird eyes. Okay, yes, goats. But yeah, what I mean yeah. is like, it looks like they're drawn on. Like they don't... No, yeah. They have this like highlighter going on and it's like pretty fabulous, but... It's nice. Jealousy aside. Rat King. Yeah, Rat this King. is going to be, this is a sad truth more than a fun fact, but it's when like a bunch of rats' tails get like tangled up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Which, I learned about that. incidentally, is a sports mascot, but lizards are not. What? There's the Utah Rat Kings. And their, their, their mascot is like 20 guys <laughs> tied together, rolling around and writhing in the middle of the game. What are they tied together by? They're, they're yeah. part of the suit, so like they well, all have to. It's a very. I thought it was like a whole stuff. surgical thing because they wanted like realism, so they have to be in that ball at oh all times, God. so that they move around. It's not some like thing. that's like a human centipede kind of shit. It kind of. It's just yeah. that they, but like the less, suit. less eating out assholes for the rest of your life. Oh my God! Not necessarily. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> to each their own. <laughs> to each their own. To. Listeners, we are supportive of all kind of adventures. I mean. Yeah. I'm all about it. I just don't want my face taped. Yeah. Too. You want it to be like a choice. I, yeah. 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 I want to be able to pull back when I feel like, hey, this isn't safe anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this There's a train go. coming down the tracks <laughs> that you got to... <laughs> this one... I don't eat shit, but this is where I draw the line. <laughs> I have <a> limits. <laughs> eat my shit. <laughs> what a great movie. Did you guys see The Help? Oh, yeah. I have. Where she serves. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this, no. Some racist lady. She gets it her own, her maid, like, or, well, she, like, bakes her shit into a pie and then makes her eat it. Yeah. But doesn't tell her. And then it's like, eat my shit. And she's like, excuse me? And she's like, you already did. Yeah. Boom. So Which, good. Octavia Spencer, a, I love you. That yeah. is akin to South Park when Cartman made that one kid eat his parents. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, there's just some random 
14 year old ran in here and said that I don't think he had anything to do with the conversation it's one of the risks of working in a public life <laughs> was it they, yeah we're really just surrounded by a 14 year old it's really yeah. weird right? yeah. like they're actually so standing by the door in a line and we yeah. cannot leave yeah, until we finish this we, podcast we have to we're kind help. Of freaked out by it send help to 1234 podcast street yeah thank you Sure, that help will come quick, seeing as it's coming from Lebanon. <laughs> and also, this won't come out until the... Yeah, we're not going to... Until after the kids have let us out. <laughs> it's okay. It's a mutual thing. We understand. Exactly. We need the pressure to perform. Yeah. 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 What's, um... That was... I don't know what I was going <laughs> to like, I feel like I had another story. I don't know. Am I telling too many stories? No. Yeah. Yeah. Full of stories. No, that's okay. perfect. About yeah. a okay. transition thing. Okay, yeah. so... We can um, have same story time. Ooh, Sam's Same. story second. <laughs> One second. <laughs> Play the first second of all these on a loop for the entire duration. <laughs> just trying to get a water Okay, so my dad tells a story. Um, how in Chicago, when his dad, because he used to live like downtown Chicago, when they were building oh, Lower oh, Wacker, right. they, and this is, yeah, it's a rat story. So when they were building, they were, like, cutting into all these areas. And there used to be a market there for, like, 80 years on Lower Wacker and Wacker Drive. There had been, like, rat colonies building up for 80 years. So as these workers were, like, working, rats, colonies of rats, rat kings would start attacking. So they had people with guns supervising the workers to prevent them from getting, like, attacked. That's it's like crazy. a small scale. It's like Ratatouille it. on fucking steroids, man. Everyone Nobody's is. safe. Remy. Also, Remy's trans. Is there? <laughs> wait, is there a Ratatouille sequel? I like, don't is know. there a Ratatouille? Wait, there, there is a Ratatouille. Ratatouille. Is there no Ratatouille? There's no Ratatouille sequel yet. We need to make <laughs> Ratatouille. To Ratatouille, and he's a king rat this time, <laughs> hiding underneath the guy's hat, and it's controlling this him. <laughs> massive mound moving around under there. Yeah, oh well, God. it's um, it's in the same universe as Megamind, so they're just so kind of accepting happen. of it. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why I thought you were going to say it's in the same universe as Mad Max, which I think would be better. Or it's like a desolate wasteland where a With man a is giant being controlled king by a rat king. Just a cook. Yo, okay, but wait up. So, Mad Max. <laughs> it's still just all about cooking. No, but that's but what I'm saying. Cooking. Okay, so yeah. Mad Max is Mad like Max. what in the U.S. So basically, what if the U.S. had that apocalypse, but then the rest of the world's just chilling? So Ooh. Ratatouille, Remy, he's still in France, and everyone's just like, yeah, America. Yeah. What happened there? Like, like, what if? Here's my political thoughts. It'd be, in Mad Max, for those of you who haven't watched it, uh, there's the need for water. Spoilers. Spoiler alert. Spoilers. They need water. Similar to us, but we have some. Not everyone does. So if you're listening and you don't have water, I apologize. We have an abundance. <laughs> we have so much, yeah. I could just pour some on the ground right now. I, I usually wouldn't care. Do. But, yeah. If you don't have water, sure please send hate mails about dreams. Thank yeah. you. Please. And so if America had Mad Max, we wouldn't be trying to find water... We would be trying to find oil, in my opinion. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Jinx. Jinx. <laughs> wow. So for I our was going to say we going to try to find capitalism. And, oh, yeah. But that's pretty much the same thing. No, exactly. Yeah. For us, so. yeah. For our listener in Lebanon, because I'm sure you're not aware of the uh, impact of America on the structure of the Middle East in current years. Uh, <laughs> We often invade countries and dismantle their political systems for oil, is what happens. Which, currently, we are trying to do in Venezuela. And we're, it's under the guise of, we're trying to help you. Humanitarian aid. Humanitarian. We're trying to save you. We're trying to throw paper towels at you. If only inner city black youth had oil, we would help them. We would. But now we can't. But it's just, it's asking too much at this point. Gotta kill them. In some way, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Too dark. No. No. Not dark enough. Venezuela. Is that anywhere near Venice? Well, as you know, there are three Mexican countries. <laughs> According Venezuela, to Fox News. Venezuela. We, we Venice. <laughs> Venice. Venezuela. Venice and Nicola. <laughs> Nicaragua. Nicaragua. Those are the three. Those are the three Mexican countries. Jesus. 
<laughs> and then there's Peru and Lebanon, and they are, along with Ireland, I think the three major world superpowers. Yeah. That was it, that we agreed to that. Because, well, we essentially have like one listener from each of those places, and they're probably all the Oh, we don't have anyone from Ireland, that's the goal. Oh, yeah. that's the goal. Okay, well, so we have the leader from Lebanon, who's a six-year-old, yeah. and then the leader from Peru. Wait, yeah? Yeah, it was 90 years old. 90 it was a 90 year old. old. And so you guys like, said they were friends. They're and best they're friends. And they're, they're well, they're, friends. they're world leaders. They're best friends, yeah. So, yeah. but they all, they're the only, And the thing is, they don't want to share and they the met hilarity through the podcast. Wow. Yeah. We we we're together. bringing people together. I am so yeah. honored to be on with you guys then. So, You're if either Lebanon together. or Peru get some sort of a coup, you'll know why. Yeah. <laughs> Either us or Jim. For those of you who can't hear hand motions, I did finger guns to the microphone. Yes. <laughs> proud finger gun supporting. Group. I don't know. I think there should be some finger gun control. I don't no. Know. Yeah, I think so. I'm a libertarian, but only about my hands. Finger guns are okay. Woody, the, the toy store, he does finger guns. He's not hurting anybody. Right. It's he his right was. to finger That's gun people. That's the whole people. plot of the first movie. Yeah, I'm talking about... Because the they want, like, second, mutual? The second movie. Is there some, like... Okay, I love going back on stuff and, like, reading it for, like, uh, queer vibes. Yeah. And definitely. just thinking, like, hmm, bromance? Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. And what about, um... I was reading the Communist Manifesto. Of course, because you yeah. do that every day. I feel like there's... Every some... hour on the hour. Of course, Yeah. It's what I do. And, and you're uh, reading it right now. I'm currently... It's a start. little obnoxious, yeah. Jacob and I are a little pissed. Yeah. But <laughs> we do not know, condone this. The, uh, if, you, if you're going to tell me that there's no tension between the proletariat and the petty bourgeoisie, I disagree. I think like sexual true. tension? Probably. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So like some classism, like they can't be together, but they want to be together. Yeah. Hmm. There you go. Wow, that's so sad. It is. That's the saddest love story. It is. I've never fully read the Marxist uh, Communist Manifest. Yeah, I've because never... it takes more than an hour. It takes, yeah. it takes more than an hour. And you get cut off, and you I, have to start it over. And I pray I just start sweating. It's like, yeah. yeah. Well, I've never fully read anything. Ever. Ever. Even like, like a tweet, you stop halfway through. No, I usually stop before the last word, because then I know if I finish that word, then I can't say that thing I said. Yeah. Sincerely, there's stuff that I don't finish because I don't want it to end. I've you guys that. feel that? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> well, fuck you, Jake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <right. laughs> like ending play for the cut off right there. Yeah. <laughs> um, I kind of get that way. I don't know. I got that way with Adventure Time. That's actually serious, but. <laughs> I hadn't watched it for years, but I went back and like watched last yeah. season. I think that's my favorite part of the digital age is that if I just don't care and don't pay attention to some of my favorite TV shows for a couple of years, I can just watch all of the things I want really quickly one after another instead of having to wait week by week. I mean, binging has changed the game. Yeah. But it's also yeah. bad because I forget everything the first season. And if there's a second season, I'm like, what? <laughs> What the fuck happened? Yeah, I can't do it. I don't have the. Well, and it's like I, th- I think a lot of places also don't, or not places, but like shows they, especially on Netflix, they go on their uh, binging ability. It's not. Yeah. You yeah. know, like but like, like before they had to actually have like a good story that like something that kept you coming from week yeah. to week, but right. if you could watch an entire series of a show. In one sitting or so, yeah. then obviously you don't have to. You're not. You're not dedicating as much, yeah. you know, time because you don't have all the weight. But so there's, there's, yeah. They also know. want the like rewatchability. So you binge yeah. it, but do you binge it again? Do your friends right. binge it? That's yeah. why everyone should sincerely watch the OA because it's the most amazing show I've ever seen. Anyway, sponsored by the OA. Yeah. Um, so yeah. For OA. Always sunny in Philadelphia. Yeah. Yep. Yikes. <laughs> um, that's oh, is that the one with the the guy from Arrested Development? Uh, no? Oh no, I'm thinking, thinking of, of Arrested I'm thinking of Ozarks. 
Yes. Yo. <laughs> okay, I thought it was, and then I was watching it. No, it's like an amazing fucking show. It's like yeah. sci-fi, I mean, I fantasy, but Sarge like but OA, real yeah. stuff. Like it's you guys just gotta watch it, but be open because it's really weird as fuck. So. What is it on Netflix? It's on Netflix. I'm dead ass serious right now. Yeah, I've right. never been more serious about anything in my life. My dad died yesterday, but I'm more serious about this. I gotta go. The funeral's tomorrow. <laughs> this is how we cope. The podcast is well, that's what this whole podcast is about, actually. I was yeah. to apologize for killing your father. Yeah. <laughs> and but, <laughs> see, you were okay. to accept my apology yeah, and because, not go to the authorities. Yeah, well, it was, it was hard because if I hired you at first to kill him. And then you were all good for that. But then I had second thoughts. Um, well, not because I, I wanted him to live, but because I needed to see what was in his will. Um, as you know, I need money. I need a lot of money, and I need it now. Um, but obviously, like that was the wrinkle. But then you were already set to kill him. Uh, so that's why I was upset. Little did either of them know, there was a third party interested in the uh, murder of Sam's father. And if you want to know what other people are at play here, you're just going to have to continue listening to our Serial Crime Podcast. Spoiler, it was Pepsi. <laughs> Pepsi's not a cereal. All right, can I spill the beans now? <laughs> Do you not have Pepsi in your cereal? Because I said I can't get any milk because my cat is like not good at that. I actually so did. I just use Pepsi. Pepsi, can I spill the beans on what happened? Yeah, spill okay. Pepsi, if you know what I mean. Oh, uh, listeners, it's going to get pretty scary, so get ready. Yeah. Um, so my father, he had all that money, right? Well, little did J. Cole and I know, Pepsi went and seduced my father. Yes. He used his manly wiles mm-hmm. and just seduced him. Yes. I'm going to cry. Yeah, I know. And... Uh, I just, it was a beautiful love story. It was. And I'm, um, if I'm telling the truth, it's, it's pretty hard because I wanted them to be together, but I really wanted the money. So what do you have to say for yourself? Little did Pissy. Sam know I was only after his money as well. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway, segue. Well, yeah, he's dead anyway, so really. I mean, and it turns out right. he left in the will all of it's going to charity. Yeah, so for nothing. And part of his will actually said, if I'm ever murdered, do not arrest the murderer. Uh, just because I don't want anybody to get in trouble for me. Yeah, yeah it was kind of weird. Was it was really written in a different ink than the rest of the will, yeah, so yeah. it was a little shady there, but they decided not to look well, into it. Well, he, he typed it up. He didn't write it in ink. What? He typed up his <laughs> you will. You mean my father wasn't an <laughs> 18th century <laughs> man with his... He typed quill, up the will. Feather I quill? wrote in the yeah, bit yeah, about yeah. not you know. <laughs> arresting the murderer or the person who hired the I want the my murderer. entire will written in calligraphy, but I have to type in my signature at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> and then at the bottom where they say rewrite it, you write it in yeah, you like signature. Exactly. Yeah. When you have to print the name. I've accidentally done that a number of times because I instinctively only write J's, capital J's, the cursive way. So whenever it says, like, print your name, I, like, I 90% printed, but then... Not that my last name is a J, because obviously my Yeah, I was going to say Pepsi. There is no J in any of I was going to say Pepsi, is something you want to tell us? My middle name is Jew. Yikes. That's a name for someone who's named Hot Dog. <laughs> Wait, so is Hot Dog your middle name then? No, I, my, my full name is Pepsi Jew Hot Dog. <laughs> I don't think we can keep up with that. No. <laughs> that that's not something that we can keep it. <laughs> Given like, the, give the no. turmoil, I don't know. What turmoil is going on? The, the, the oil that is in term and trying to win the election. We have to stop them. <laughs> Wait, you're saying to stop what the Jews? Fuck? Yes. Definitely. <laughs> Pay for the Mueller's report. That's a conspiracy theory we're not going to do. That's, yeah. Sorry, listeners, our yeah. apologies. We have to, We only do jokes and misinformation. For exactly. All the Jewish people in Lebanon. Are there Jews in Lebanon? There's got to be some. People are everywhere. Yeah. There's like, there's like a country where there was only like one Jewish guy I was reading about. I Stop. What country? Yeah. I don't remember. The one we're on right now. 
No, oh, yeah. It was me. Man, it's you. <laughs> 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 Another show you guys should watch is uh, Man in the High Castle. That's pretty oh, dope. I've heard that one's good. Also, <laughs> on the way here. <laughs> That's what I call my weekends. <laughs> Am I right? Man in the High Castle. Smoke some weed. <laughs> We're 20. Come on, go to High Castle. <laughs> <laughs> Give you a better name. I've actually never gone to White Castle. Have you guys what? ever gone? What? what? Wait, I'm not going to go there, though. I'm just we saying. should literally go there. No. <laughs> it's so nasty. White no, Castle's I would, I would love place. to go there. But you seem pretty adamant against it. You're missing out. Look. Listen, they have the Impossible Burger. They're the only fast food place. Burger King's testing it. So, like, okay, imagine, imagine like, a burger. Yeah. But they make it smaller, and then they take off all the good parts, and then just throw on little bits of onion and ketchup and mustard. So it's like sliders, right? Yeah. Imagine that. But, like, worse. Do I have to imagine that? But worse. So wait, it's just the condiments. It's, it's a pile of like mustard and ketchup. And then I don't know. Too. I mean, you can get it with other stuff, but I only ever got like the fifty packs or whatever, and they mostly give them with just the you know simplest yeah. toppings. But yeah. no, the Impossible Burger is the the meat alternative burger thing. People, yeah. So it's like fake meat. No joke. But it's like tastes like a burger. Yeah. Well, it's not fake meat. It's just that it's not animal meat. It's fake human. news. It's human meat, which I'm fine with. Right. Yeah. No, um, I am, in all seriousness, I am unequivocally more okay with people eating with people than people eating animals. And I'm really... Interesting. I'm really super okay with people eating animals. So. Yeah, you are. <laughs> 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 so, what takeaways is that Pepsi Hot Dog endorses White Castle and Jake Hole endorses cannibalism. Yep. Yep. Well, yeah. cannibalism endorses me. <laughs> it's a symbiotic relationship. Exactly. Yeah. You subsist. And become it. really dependent on cannibalism. Like codependent. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, do we want to do a bit? We can do the questions. I've got questions. Okay. No, I was going to say you're starting to look like a big turkey leg, but then I realized <laughs> that I'm a cannibal, so that wouldn't make any sense. You're I was ready to look, look like, like a human. You look like a human. <laughs> Yum. Your entire body now looks like your leg. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would, no, that's a good thing. Did you ask your question? Is yeah, that another no, phrase for like... Yeah, we should probably do that. Wait, is that what, like, oh, they're all legs means? You know oh, the phrase, yeah. they're all legs? She had legs that went all the way up because she was just a leg. <laughs> For days. <laughs> a noir movie where it's just like completely normal detective story. Right. But the attractive lead woman that the guy like, you know, talks about is just like two legs with a head on them. Or it's like the leg lamp from a Christmas story. Yeah. I was about to say the same thing. Yeah. I was about to say if it's just the floating leg lamp. Someone in a house in like my it's neighborhood has that. I, my dad got one. Yeah. yeah. My uh my brother in law has one. Freaking wild man. I love that movie though. It's a good, yeah, I mean, didn't age super well in terms of, like... The whole part where he joins the army, which, unfortunately, was well, the, the, uh... Oh, know, wait, the kind of racist, like, yeah. Chinese part about them eating dinner. Oh, yeah, that part. That was a little, that was a little iffy. Yeah. yeah. I kind of hate that. Like, people talk about how great these shows are, and you go back and watch it, and you're like, fuck, no. <laughs> yeah. Well... Yeah. So fucking... I'm trying to think of a thing. Wait, you question? Yeah. Answer. Hop to oh, it. Question? One, yeah. two, three, question. let's go. Wait, three, two. One. Fuck. It's <laughs> Jake Hall. <laughs> Alright, so new see. segment. You still held up one finger. Yeah. <laughs> Just reading the sign there. <laughs> so, this segment is called That's a Good Question. So, it's where we ask good questions. I have a question. Do we give answers? Yeah, yeah, we have to answer. Or do we respond with, that's a good question, and then we move on? No, you gotta give a question. You gotta okay. answer it. Okay. You just, yeah, then you say, that's a good, you gotta, okay, so it's like a podcast, so the way podcasters talk. Right. You gotta be like, that's a good question, and then give your answer. Right. Okay. That was so spot on. Yeah. I have chills. Yeah. There I am. I have chills. 
<laughs> I do, but it's because of a medical thing. Question. It's the craters near me. <laughs> 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 my specific side effect specific <laughs> testicular cancer um, <laughs> they're gonna name it after you that's exactly. how bad it is oh, it's so rare okay, yeah. congratulations for naming it after you yeah I would, like Lou Gehrig no Lou Gehrig was named okay. after the disease that I forgot we did we talked yeah. about that yeah um, <laughs> how could you forget that how could I forget so my question is mm. if you could have dinner with anybody living or dead what would you get to eat that's a good question. <laughs> Ravioli? Okay, I said it. You can put the gun down now. <laughs> All right. Stop. The children are watching. There's two from things the I like in life, and it's the, the self-fulfillment I get from compliments, like telling me I have a good question, and the power I feel from holding a gun. Wow. Um, yeah. That's pretty spot on. I would probably get uh, beef wellington. With the human substitute, or yeah. Well, I mean, you don't want to offend someone you're eating with. I mean, it's not part of the question. Oh, okay. But the person that I would be eating it with would probably be dead. So Wait, so I'd you're eating eat the person? Uh, and that you're well, I'm giving with? them the because I want to eat the Wellington, but I want to eat it out of them because if I eat it out of them, it's like it's like how freaking like you can eat anything. Out someone? No, like you cut open their stomach and then eat the insides of their stomach. So you're still being a cannibal, but you're eating none. Like oh. I'm, a, I'm a vegan cannibal. That's an interesting idea. It's so long. <laughs> <laughs> Does that answer your question? That's an interesting question. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hole, bringing it to you live. That's what they call me. Yeah. Mr. Mr. Hole. Mr. Hole. <laughs> Did they write that movie after you or make that movie? After? Nope. It was all no. Shia LaBeouf improv acting in the desert. Shia LaBeouf. Yeah, they just released him in the desert for like <laughs> about two months with a GoPro. GoPros were even around. <laughs> well, that <laughs> was the original became, GoPro. He started original it. GoPro, it's yeah. GoPros run by Shia LaBeouf. Yeah, he started Shia the surprise. Well, because he was a pro. He was a and, and they were like go pro yeah. and then they just then they went away because they had wanted nothing to do with it. he came back and they're like, to be who natural. are all these other people and he's like it's me it's me they're all me yeah. in different ways clearly Sigourney Weaver no shit I forgot she was in it yeah right yeah. the yeah. one guy from Psych he was in it oh yeah um mm-hmm. what's her face she also did um I was about to say 12 Years a Slave but she did not um Can't she did Boyhood see. She was the mom. Oh. You know what I'm talking about. Mm, Arquette, Patricia Arquette. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But in truth, it was Shia LaBeouf in both films. But it was my well, actor. Shia LaBeouf is the only actor yeah. ever. that has ever existed. Well, now he is, because the only other one, unfortunately, died, and that was David Carradine. In a mysterious event. <laughs> Which will be touched on in a new movie coming out this weekend. If you haven't already gotten your tickets to Chokehold, the David Carradine story. Which will be played by Shia LaBeouf. Reviewers say you don't know if he's coming or going. (laughs) (laughs) It's not my joke. You don't have to keep that in. I'm going to keep that in. Um, I think this is... Okay, so we have Whoa. two episodes where we talked about Babe Ruth being a deformed Cretan, and three where I mentioned David Carradine killed himself yeah. through autoerotic asphyxiation. And also Sam never answered the good question. Oh. Wait, wait. Yeah, ravioli. Good, ravioli. Oh, you did say that. The immediate reaction. Oh, I don't well know then, why. I, like I wasn't like listening. No. Yeah, so Jay can Cole. we start over? Okay, so... From the beginning. New segment. <laughs> Jake Cole <laughs> listens for once. <laughs> My least favorite segment. <laughs> does, that, does anyone else have a good question? Um, I have a good question. Okay. So, you know, I always think about how people throughout time have to, like, discover things. So what do you think is the weirdest experience of someone discovering something that we deal with every day? That's a good question. <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> um, like the first person to ever be like, fuck, that's fire. Like, one you know thing I mean? that I thought about a lot is the first person that drank milk from a cow probably got looks about it. <laughs> yeah, I've had that To go back too. to milk, that's genuine. 
Yeah, but yeah. that was before the conspiracy theory. Yeah, that was the mm-hmm. original. It was pure milk. Yeah. The original cow. That was probably like, what he was, the person was remembered probably for that, where like everyone in the, their area would have been like, oh, that's the guy who sucks off cows. I mean, <laughs> in, the, in the same vein of that, the first guy who tried to get milk out of an almond. <laughs> he tried really hard who, who, with his fingers. Who, who looked at an almond? Like, like, like squeeze that. That'd be delicious. Or if someone, the first person yeah. to cut open like a coconut, they're like, "Wow, this hairy thing." Yeah. You know what I mean? And they're just like, "Let me cut it open." I would like this thing that looks like just like like a bowling ball with like a toupee on it. I want to drink that. And they did. Wow, impressive. Yeah. And that with a lime. With a lime. Just then they put the lime in the, in the coconut. coconut. And then they would shake it all up, drink it all up. Oh, well, I guess no, we they shake, shake it, it and then drink. Yeah. How does it go? Harry Nelson was a historian. You put the lemon in the lemon in the nut. <laughs> you put the <laughs> and you <laughs> you put the lemon on the pasta and you stir it all. <laughs> That's how it goes, right? Yeah. <laughs> that didn't take me entirely too long to figure out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is drink. No, he definitely says what? shake them both up. There's got to be a part where they, they say that. Really? I think, I think it's drink it all up. Yeah, it's drink them both up. Put the diamond and coconut and drink it all up. The coconut and call me in the morning. That's what he was telling us. That there was a doctor. Yeah. Right? Isn't that actually what that song's about? Yeah. The doctor telling you to drink a limey coconut. Yeah. I thought his boss was like, go drinking. drink that limey coconut. That was my British accent. Blimey. Blimey. <laughs> I sounded a little Australian. <laughs> it did. It did. It was awful on every account. Good day, mate. You know who can do it? <laughs> <laughs> British accent. Reggie from Nintendo. I bet. <laughs> I bet Reggie from Nintendo. Oh, man. We've been really hanging out ever since he came on that second episode. He's not here. I just... Yeah, no. Well, he's always here in spirit. I feel like an Australian accent is just some southerner trying to do a British accent. That's my, my okay. hot take for today. Me trying to do a British accent sounds like a southern accent. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes. So I kind of see where you're coming from. Yeah. What's the... What do you... I don't know. I don't know. That was... That was a sentence. <laughs> That's a new segment. I don't know. Damn it. Our, our guest today is Sam. Yeah, we have a yeah. real we don't, we don't need a fake guest. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's a real person. Here. Yeah, we got a real guest. I am not just Pepsi's voice <laughs> <Right>. altered. <laughs> How else could we have jinxed? No, that's theory? a good point. Yeah. Conspiracy theory. I'm not that good at it. Well, not, I'm not the one who edits this, whoever the crew behind Bohemian Rhapsody edits our podcast, but right. they're not that good at editing. Right, exactly. That's why they won the Oscar. Yeah. Did you see the movie? I didn't see the movie, no, because it looked terrible. Yeah. Like, the direction looked bad. I don't, I, I, I don't feel one way or the other about Queen or Freddie Mercury. I think Freddie Mercury has a beautiful voice. But I don't feel one way or the other about them. I just, it didn't, it didn't look like a movie that I would like to see. And then the second it won an award, everybody that I knew started shitting all over it. And it was like, it didn't deserve an award. And we should, really? Yeah. yeah. We should do this in an after the fact, and we're about to, so let's end this. <laughs> Uh, Words of Wisdom? We haven't Words done this in several episodes. Um, if, uh, oh, that's right, we were going to do that. Yeah, we never did that. Uh, Words of Wisdom. If you think of a bit for your podcast, <laughs> write it down. <laughs> Beforehand. <laughs> um, let me think of Words of Wisdom. Sam, what are your Words of Wisdom? Look to the sky. (laughs) My words of wisdom are look to the ground. (laughs) Good night, everybody. Good night.